Hi again, Red Hat developers. This is Jason with the Red Hat Developers Program. I'm here today with Devin Phillips, and he's going to show us Rapid App Dev in Vertex. Jason, thanks for the introduction. Um, we've all had this problem. We all deal with this every day, you, whether you're doing JBoss or Tomcat, WARS, EARS, whatever. Compile, recompile, deploy. It's like a 10 minute cycle. It slows down our development. Nobody likes this, right? But what if there's a better way? So we see in a lot of our uh, application development communities uh, that the Node.js community or the Ruby community, they have these really nice rapid application development tools like Gulp and, and Grunt. What if we had the same thing in the Java world, in the reactive world, in the high performance application world? We'd be in a much better shape. So my name's Devin Phillips. I'm going to tell you about what we're doing at Open Innovation Labs. Uh, this is going to follow on really great with what Andrew was just telling you about OpenShift.io. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Maven Vertex plugin, which allows us to do this little bit right here, which is the redeploy capability in the Vertex Maven plugin. And basically, you can use this Vertex Maven plugin, or you can use the Vertex CLI, and you get essentially, when you change your code, Vertex monitors for the changes, and instantly your application is up and running again. So bring up my IDE. I should have had that ready before, huh? There we go. This is about as simple as a Vertex vertical as you can get. All it really does is set up a periodic timer and says, hello, Vertex world. So down here in the console, I can run Maven, compile, Vertex, colon, run. Boom. Application's running in a few seconds. And while this application is running, let's say we want to uh, say hello to our French friends, uh, Clement included here. We just say, change this to bonjour, and we save. And if you watch my console, you'll see the redeployment was done in 47, 48 microseconds or milliseconds. And now it's saying bonjour. Let's say we want to talk to our German friends, so we'll say willkommen. We'll save that file, compile and redeploy in a few milliseconds, boom. Our application is already speaking German for us. Imagine you write an entire reactive system using this methodology, and as you're live coding, your application is already updating. Uh, your web sockets are changing, your UI is changing right there in front of you. This makes for very, very quick rapid application development to show minimum viable product, to show prototypes. Uh, and thanks to work from people like Clement, this is built into Maven. It's super simple to uh, bring up and get running. And in fact, if you want to do this, scan my QR code here. You can download this project from GitHub. And thank you for your time. And be back a little bit later. We're going to have a couple more lightning talks about Vertex. We're going to talk about clustering. We're going to talk about event bus bridges and tying together and integrating applications. Cheers. So what we see here is a really simple Vertex vertical. Uh, I'm going to go to presentation mode so you guys can see it a lot easier. And Oh, wrong project. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, we're going to look at this code real quick. It's a very simple Vertex application. It's just going to use a, uh, a really basic, oh, where's my mouse? And I've lost my screen. What in the heck is going on here? I apologize, everyone. I am having technical difficulties getting my development environment up.
Where is it? Oh, there we are. Phew, having a rough day. And I cannot see that, so let me. How do I mirror displays here? Ah, there we go. Now we should be able to see what's going on.